Yo. 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 It's dead in this town. You know? It's crazy. Gotta shake things up. Yo. For real. Let's go. Quiet night. There is no sound. Who needs a light? With no fun around. Hey, Trues. Hey, everybody. It's Miss True Redbone. Please like, comment, subscribe, and welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you for coming over, and make sure that you share, 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 share. I appreciate you guys' support so much. I just wanted to come on really quick um, and just talk about a topic that's, uh, I, I wanna say woman to woman, okay? Let's say woman to woman. Um, I was in my comments yesterday, last night actually, um, and I was talking to, um, what's the channel? I don't know if, well, it's, I was talking to the life you live may not be your own. Hey, boo, I'm talking to you. And she watched my cleaning video um, from when I did my kitchen clean. And I was surprised. A lot of people said I looked cute, y'all. I had on a cotton pencil skirt with a cotton little white t-shirt. And, um... She was just like, she asked me where I got the skirt from. I got the skirt from Dee Dee's, okay? Um, Dee Dee's has a lot of little like pencil skirts and like that. So I tend to pick those up whenever I'm there. This jacket that I actually have on, I got from Dee Dee's, y'all. I love this jacket and I got on some peachy colored um, jeans. And they got rips in them, y'all. I'm not supposed to have these on, but they're almost damn near the same color I am. So my skin look like the jeans, but neither here or there she said i love the way that you always look well put together and let me talk to y'all about that women wives girlfriends girlfriends of a girlfriend my girl got a girlfriend you know y'all too boo <sighs> when i first had my first three daughters my main focus was because they were y'all know my kids are stair-stepped um, it's five of them, plus I got, you know, my, my stepkids, which are my babies in Wisconsin, but I'm talking about my three, my three younger, my three daughters oldest one. So the 21 year old, the 19 year old, and the 17 year old when they were younger. Y'all know, I would always go in the store to shop for, for me and end up in the kids section and spend all my money on them. My mama got on me because, of course, they was always so fresh and so clean, clean, all the way down from little gold earrings, a necklace, bracelets on their wrists, you know, because um, little girls are easy. You know, you just got to, you can go to Walmart and dress them up. You can go to Target and dress them up. Sears was my thing back in the day because JCPenney's was my thing. When tax time came around, when they were around that age, I would take about $600 and buy a whole summer wardrobe and have it shipped to the house but i say this because my mama used to get on me because i would look like a fucking bum um because i gave my everything to my three kids hair combed every day ass washed and i mean i was getting up at five and dropping them off to wherever they needed to be so that i could go to work um and I did this every day, unless I French braided their hair. But they was clean, fresh and so clean. But me, I would get up and probably throw on some jeans, a little too big t-shirt, some tennis shoes, hair look like any kind of way, and I'm going to work for 12 hours. Y'all, we have to take care of us. And even if that means that I'm going to Dee Dee's, getting me a little $5 pencil skirt, a four dollar shirt you know we can hook up anything it doesn't matter how much it costs it doesn't have to be no name brand um but we have to take care of ourselves one for our own self-esteem and two for our significant others y'all we got to do we got to continue to do and improve on y'all know the way we got them it's the way you keep them. Don't start getting comfortable and being lazy with yourself because, oh, I got him. Um, I, I already got what I want at home. He happy with what? No. You got to keep up doing what you was doing from day one to keep 
the spark alive, the love alive. Um, so no, I don't, I get up like, um, I'll get up and I literally will go wash my ass. Um, if I'm just around the house, it's a Sunday and we just around the house, I'm putting on a, like a house dress, but it's not a, a gown that I'm walking in all day. My mama told me this. My mama was like, cause she must have, she would pop up at the house and I'd be in a nightgown and a scarf on my head looking all rough and my husband was at home or whatever. He was, she was like, uh-uh, you need to get your ass up and get your shit together every single day. Even if it's, I'm not saying makeup. You ain't got to get up and put on makeup if you don't want to. I love to, but you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have to get up and put on makeup to please nobody. No, but you get up, you wash your ass. You put on something presentable for you that you feel is, well, you put on something presentable. You comb your hair, brush your teeth, and you you keep your man the same way that you got him from day one, if that makes sense. And if you're not doing this, try it and see what happened. He gonna be trying to be all up in that snatch every single day. Uh, it's not a game. I'm telling you, it works. If you're questioning why certain things are not working in your relationship, if you're if you're questioning, you know, what happened to, um, what happened to the mojo? What happened to the love? What happened to that spark of him looking forward to seeing me? If you ain't doing the same shit that you did to get him. And you didn't got comfortable and you just lazy and frumpy and sitting at home not 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 trying why would he try you know what I'm saying why would what does he have to look forward to he know you gonna be at home chilling on the couch with that with that 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 cap on your head I'm not knocking nobody for who do it but for me the way that my mama raised me is you gotta stay on your A game. I know y'all have said me, I know y'all have heard me say this before. Do not get comfortable. You cannot get comfortable in a relationship because what happens when you get comfortable, y'all? Ask yourself that question. What happens when you get comfortable? Comfortable to me relates to being lax, laid back. That mean to me, that means I'm gonna go sit on the couch with my comfy gown on, you know, with my scarf still on my head now. Nah. I can't do that. I'm, I'm raising women. I'm raising bosses. I gotta get up, get my shit together, wash my face, run my house, teach my girls how to be fucking women and fucking ladies. I'm such a fucking lady. You know what I'm saying? I gotta represent what I want them to represent. So if that means I'm getting up a few minutes before my husband so he has something sexy to look at when he get up, just by washing my face, taking off a hair scarf and putting on a comfortable house dress why the fuck not why the fuck not if that is as simple as it gets why the fuck not i'm just saying woman to woman if you love your relationship if you feel like the spark is gone it's as simple as you doing something different than what you've been doing and I guarantee that it will be noticed by your significant other get up wash your ass put on a little perfume if you ain't been wearing your perfume put on a little perfume comb your hair down um you know get up and do things around the house but be cute doing it you ain't gotta be fucking walking around in no heels no I don't even like that well I, the only time I wear heels y'all when I'm drunk and going out I'm sorry if that's too blunt for some people. You may not want to be here, but that's the only time I wear heels. I wear heels to church <laughs> and to the club. And it might be the same heels from the club the night before to church the next morning. But for my self-esteem, I got to get up. I got to comb my hair. I got to wash my ass. I got to put on a little perfume. You know what I'm saying? And do my wifely duties whatever they may consist of um i just want to talk woman to woman because I, I think that's gotten lost in translation somewhere down the line woman to woman y'all we need to have these conversations more often 
um if you know what i'm talking about if you feel what i'm feeling please leave it down in the comment section i hope you guys have an amazing day i love you stay true to you like comment subscribe and share i'm not a secret pass me the f around think positive and positive things will happen you guys have an amazing day don't let the door hit you where the good lord split you peace i love you guys